Poland is the sixth most populous and the sixth largest economy by GDP in the EU. I talked to His Excellency Ambassador of Poland to Thailand, Waldemar Dubanioski, at the embassy in Bangkok. I began by asking him his view of ASEAN summit and then the position of Poland within EU. ASEAN, when I look at this stage at, uh, at ASEAN, somehow it reminds me a bit uh, the, the beginning of the European Union because I, to, I think I, I couldn't be surprised if in next maybe 10, maybe 50, maybe 20 years the ASEAN community, community have been organized a bit similarly to the European Union community. That's and mean on the verge of breaking up? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you compare ASEAN community to EU, because of course, people tend to compare, even among ASEAN members tend to compare that we are following the steps of EU memberships, having regional cooperation. But with EU situation and Brexit, no, no, Do you think ASEAN should be following the same steps? No, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure not. And of course, I would say even, because we still don't know, because so far Brexit didn't happen, of course, I have to admit that most likely it will happen. But even though, still the European Union became the very strong and uh, very, very strong organization, and I'm pretty sure that uh, it will be hardly possible to find any other organization which is as uh, strong as well developed as European Union and in this regard I'm pretty sure that it's really quite good from the point of view of ASEAN to look at, uh, at European Union as a sort of the model and of course from the ASEAN point of view there is uh, the advantage that ASEAN could avoid some of the mistakes which, <laughs> which had been made by, uh, by European Union. You just said that you are quite sure that in the near future Brexit would probably happen can you predict in a few years' time or pretty soon? Unfortunately, of course, first of all, I should say <laughs> that I love to say that, that I am wrong, that I would have been wrong in this regard. So I prefer much more Brexit not to happen. And, but unfortunately, from today's perspective, looks like we are closer and closer to this uh, final solution that probably Brexit will happen at, uh, at the end. And of course, we don't know exactly when, but still, I'm pretty sure that from the European Union perspective, even though our uh, British colleagues, which looks like from today's perspective, could have a chance to, to leave European community, but they still will be the uh, close friend of European Union. We still will have, uh, would have a chance to collaborate with them very closely. And hopefully, after Brexit, if, really, if, if it really, really happened, in, within the next 10 or 15 years, they will join the European Union again. What will the future bring to the European Union and the status of Poland if Brexit does really happen? Because right now, Poland is very crucial in the European Union as well because you are the sixth largest economy in the EU. What will happen to the status of Poland if Brexit really happened? It's, it's, it's hard to say because, as in generally speaking, every single European Union country will be affected by Brexit, especially at the beginning. Because especially at the beginning, we have to somehow adjust to the new situation. We have to adjust ourselves to the situation that instead of 28, there will be 27 uh, European Union members. But from the Polish perspective, I would say we are, we are not afraid because we are strong enough, our economy is strong enough, and uh, as I mentioned, even during the economic crisis, which uh, started in 2008, we've been the only European Union economy which still kept growing. And we still been able to, uh, to keep our positive GDP growth. So I know that usually after such an event like Brexit, there will be a bit of tur turbulent time. But anyway, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure that Polish companies, Polish uh, investors, Polish uh, workers, they will be able to adjust themselves very well to the new situation. And of course, theoretically, at the moment when the uh, UK will leave uh, Europe, Poland will become... Uh, oh. It means your position will be stepping <laughs> up position, from the yeah, sixth to yeah, the fifth. Yeah, but, this, but this is not Does that... Does it mean better? No, it's, it really doesn't matter so much because, because, of course, we prefer 
to have uh, European Union as strong as possible. And of course, EU with, uh, with UK is stronger than without. So of course, our position within the European Union in this regard is not that important. The important is to, to keep the European Union as strong as possible. And we would like to important contributor to the growing and, uh, European Union in the future as well. Do you see it as heartbreaking for EU members of 28 EU members and UK is part of it? So it means in the near future it could become 27? Yeah, uh, but, but 27 plus very good friend uh, uh, from, uh, from UK and, uh, and I, as I mentioned I really wish to be wrong in this regard. So maybe at the end of the day something will happen that, that the Brexit will not take place. But uh, realistically, from today's perspective, we have to very seriously be prepared on the, uh, for this factor. And of course, there will be 27 members, but as I mentioned, 27 plus additional friends like UK. We have already very close friendship with Switzerland, with Norway, uh, which are not European Union members, but uh, a very good friend of Europe. The interview happened on July the 5th. That was before we know that Boris Johnson is set to become the next Prime Minister of Britain. And he has set the schedule that the Brexit should happen by the end of October this year. And that's all of Thai PBS World.